Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to my channel Lightroom Blog. Today we're going to talk about stuff in Lightroom because it's Tuesday so that makes it Lightroom Tuesday. What we're going to talk about is Red Eye and Pet Eye. So Red Eye is something that you get when you have an on-axis light with your camera. So if you had a pop-up flash, it goes in, it reflects off the retina and goes back into the lens. That's why you would, most flashes are further up off the camera. So it gets it at a different angle, so you're not getting that almost parallel light going into the eye and coming out into the lens. It also happens with ring flashes as well sometimes when you're in close. And for fashion, I do use a ring flash. So I'm going to edit this one here. I'm going to show you how to use uh, red eye first, and then I'm going to show the same thing with a pet. Now, pets have green eye because of a, a layer that's on the eye that just reflects green light. It's what helps them see in the dark, basically, or in lower light. Okay, so here we have a shot that I have done with a ring light. You can tell that from the shadow way the shadows is around it. And I'm going to go to red eye here and just follow the instructions, which says drag from the center of the eye or click to use the current size. Now, I am going to drag from the center of the eye because sometimes you will get a message to say that it can't use it. So let me just click, for example, there. No, it does. It finds it anyway. Sometimes it won't. So let me just let me do a small size for, for something. So you can see here now I've, I've deliberately done it off so that we get this message. So unable to find eye. OK, so you do need to include the whole eye. So that's completely not found out at all. So let me try that again. All right, so it's found at that time. Now I'm just going to move this off for a second so we can see what's going on. So we can see that we have a pupil size control. So you can literally see that controls the size of the pupil. So I'm just going to double click to reset that. And then you got a darken option here for how dark you want it to be or how light you want it to be as well. So you could actually make it quite dark. Now I'm going to position this. Just trying to block the area that was where the redness is missing. Right, so that is a rough idea on how to do it. I'm actually not happy with that. So I'm just going to completely redo that one by dragging over the whole eye and letting it find it. Nope, it hasn't found it. It's found a bit of red in her eyebrow instead. It keeps doing that. So let me go again from scratch. I'm going to leave these in just so you can see mistakes because these are the things that will happen. So that's not really, really big enough. The, the red on this eye is a little bit duller. OK, so that's much better. Uh, and the other thing is that it's left us with the catch light. So let's go to pet eye here for a second um, where there is an edge cat li catch light option. which I'm just going to leave off for a second. And I'm going to go to a pet shot. So here we have a pet shot. So as you can see, it's green eye rather than red eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to Drag from the center of the eye and out. Okay, and I'm going to just click on this one. All right, so it's not able to find that one. So I'm going to drag out again. So a couple of things going on here. The first thing is that I can still see the green and I actually don't like that. I'm going to turn off this catch light option for a second. The real catch light, oh, there's the catch light gone. So what I need to do is I actually need to increase the pupil size. And I've found that this is generally the way. Just make sure that's echo, oh, that's way too much. I'm going to move it around so I can just see what it's doing. Very slow at updating this one now. I All right, okay. Right, so that's a little bit better. And then the edge cast light just puts in a fake catch light to try and make it look like it, there's something going on. So it just brings a little bit of life. This one here as well, I am going to increase the pupil size slightly. What happened was I actually did a test when I was shooting these ones and I shot these in such a way that I wasn't getting red eye and I looked at what was happening naturally with the with the animal's eye. And what I found was that there is no green. So there's no green at all when there's a pet normally. So I'm just trying to emulate that a little bit by making this a little bit larger. OK, so turn it on and off or off and on rather. So that makes a huge difference and the cash light really, really helps with the look. So folks, that is a look at using both red eye and pet eye inside of Lightroom. Again, there's no shortcut for the tool, um, but it's still a useful tool when you do need to fix this particular problem. So folks, if you like this, do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as well. If you like the video, please do like it and share it on your social media, etc. in Facebook groups, things like that, where everything people will like it. Thanks a million for that. Adobe Max is on, so if you can catch the keynote for that, I highly recommend watching that. If you go to my photo Friday, I have links and all in that. 
So, folks, thanks for taking time to watch this, and I will see you in the next video.